Hola mis amores, bienvenidos a mi canal otra vez. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend some time with me. Today we have several new products. I'm going to use them today. Um, let's start, shall we? Okay, I'm gonna go in with some Spotlight Primer from Physicians Formula. I'm gonna go in with some Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And today I am going to be using my Juno & Co sponge. I have decided that I absolutely do like it after several tries. It does leave your skin and your face looking airbrushed. So, hint, hint, hint. In the next coming videos, there's going to be a giveaway, one of which, one of the items is going to be this Juno & Co sponge so you don't have to wait three months for it to get here like I did. Just go. And we're gonna bounce. Today we are going to use the Conceal and Define by Makeup Revolution in the color C6. Oh, in the foundation I was golden beige. And we're gonna bounce some more. I'm channeling my inner Ariana Grande today. Do you see my pony? Wow. All right, this is our first new product. This is from Flower Beauty. And for those of you that don't know, Flower Beauty is owned and run by Drew Barrymore. This is their Miracle Matte uh, Translucent, <laughs> Miracle Matte Translucent Finishing Powder. Okay, and I've heard good things about it. It is in this gorgeous container. It looked very expensive when I bought it, but it was only $9.98. So, let's open her up. Blech. Blech. Okay, it looks like this. It's got a little puff. Ooh. And then we have to take this sticker off so we can get to the good stuff. <laughs> My lungs. Okay. I don't want to use a puff. I'm gonna use my normal powder brush, which is an EcoTools brush, and it's just an EcoTools powder brush. It has no name. Okie dokie. And let's see, I don't know. How are you supposed to do this? Are you supposed to like shake it out? And then, okay. Oh, can you see this? Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, all right, get yourself under control. Oh my gosh, can you see how much is in there? Okay, don't do what I did, oh my God. Don't, don't do that, don't do what I did. Okay, let's try to bake with it, shall we? Well, let's pick up some of this that's over here on the edge. Oh my God, my, my floor. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go in with the Profusion Contour Palette. And I am going to use a Morphe M459 to contour. And these shades don't have names. So I'm going to go in with this one right here for my contour. Well, it's subtle. Let's go the next one down. Yeah, that's better. 
Okay. If I need to. Okay. Blush. This is the Nude Color BH Cosmetics um, 10 Color Nude Blush Set. Uh, I picked this up while they had a sale, so I think, if I remember correctly, I think this was like seven bucks. So um, it comes with 10 different colors, as you can see. Um, and I think today I am going to try I'm going to try this kind of terracotta e blush over here. Okay, so let's go with our Morphe E4. Got a little bit of this blush. Ooh! Hi, my name is Barbie, and I came to party. Oh, my lands. Okay. Going with this little bit of dark one. More of a terracotta y blushes. Uh, they're potent, and I would almost say that you could use those as an eyeshadow for different things. Master Chrome Highlighter, tried and true. You can always see this sucker. But that looks really pretty though, to me. I mean, it's my makeup, do what I want. Mmm. Drew Barrymore, you might have done something. Okay. Our eye primer fell on the floor. Whew. Let's prime these eyeballs. We're gonna use Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer. All right, let's do eyeballs. So this is their Blushed Neutrals 26 Color Eyeshadow and Blush Palette. Um, I think this one was maybe 14 or $15. So these are the colors. So all of these are your eyeshadows and then these are your blushes. And what it says is this is a 26 color blush neutral palette that features 21 eyeshadows and five blushes in one convenient collection. And as we just discovered, the blushes could even be eyeshadows, I think. And I am going to go in with, just to kind of set the eyelid, there's not really a matte eyeshadow that I could just use to set, so I'm gonna steal from this blush right down here to go all over my eyelid. Let's go in with, hopefully these colors play well together, we shall find out. I'm going to go in with this little peachy color right here. These colors mm -hmm. do not. I'm gonna do kind of an army green, this little army green gray moment, this right here, I don't know. It looks like army green to me. And I'm going to put that in the crease. To do that, I'm going to use my Luxie 140 um, Detail Tapered Blender. It's not going on very green. Observation number one. Although it looks green when I kick off the excess. That's more brown than I want it to, so I'm gonna go in with some of this greenish thing over here. I don't know what color that is. It's whatever color it's supposed to be. That's what color it is. I'm gonna start with this peach moment up here. Yes. And we're gonna try it without spraying the brush. If We'll spray it if we need to, to get it to do what I need it to do. But it picked up quite a bit of product. Can you see that? Okay, let's see what we got here. 
Uh... Okay, I'm gonna spray the brush. So we're gonna go back into that little coral and then we're going to spray it with some, I'm using Pixie Glow Mist setting spray. And then we're gonna see if that helps to pack on the color. What happens if you use your finger? Okay, it's a little bit better with the finger. But I feel like it's an eyeshadow. The company should make the product so it operates and behaves well with a brush. Yep. Hold on to your butts, like they said in Jurassic Park. I'm gonna use this burgundy blush. I'm gonna put that on the outer corner. And we're gonna see what happens. Dragging it out and then also dragging a little bit into the crease to kind of pinkify our little green grunge moment up here. Then I'm gonna leave it alone because I can mess with it all day long. Now I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner. And for that, I'm going to use my NYX Super Fat Eye Marker. There's a hair. I want to make those super bright colors pop, so I am going to use some NYX um, Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk, and I'm going to put that in my waterline. I am going to... First add the darker color that we used for the blush and then go out with the coral color. Okay, now I'm gonna curl my lashes. And we're gonna use some L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Okay, now we need to bring the highlighter back out. We're gonna do use the Master Chrome highlighter and we're going to go under the, on the brow bone there, under the eyebrow. I got this in my, oh, think for a second. This was, I think, either my Ipsy bag or my BoxyCharm and this is the color Incognito from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. Okay, and then I'm gonna set my face. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my face using the BH Cosmetics, um, their Blushed Neutrals Palette and their Nude Blush Palette. Um, you can pick those up, they have sales all of the time. Um, I'm happy with it. I, certain colors blend better than other colors. Let's say that. Um, the, the purplish color, the blush that we used out here on this outer corner, blended really well. And then blush kind of saved the day for us because otherwise I think it would have been a little muddy and a little messy. But I am overall pretty pleased with it. Keep your eyes and ears open because there's going to be a giveaway this week. All right. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Hasta luego. Going up in my nose. Don't panic, you can breathe.